<laughs> you are looking at a crisis. That's what Zimbabwe's National Parks Authority says. The country is sitting on about $600 million worth of ivory in storage, 130 tons. Ivory tusks seized from poachers or collected from elephants that died naturally. But Zimbabwe can't sell any of the stock because of an international ban on ivory trade by CITES, the global convention on the wildlife trade. Uh, it's, it's a vexed issue. There are those that are pro-trade, those that are anti-trade. I think there's common ground that everybody is striving to manage their elephant populations and the interface with human communities, but there's a, a gulf, a, a big difference of opinion on whether or not selling ivory is the way to go or maintaining the ban is the way to go. Southern African countries want the right to do as they please with their ivory stockpiles and elephants. They say they're going to demand this at the next global convention on the wildlife trade later this year. We have committed that uh, we will continue to engage our brothers and sisters. We believe that it is possible to find common ground, which common ground obviously favours conservation. Zimbabwe's National Parks Authority says the country has more than 100,000 elephants, up from 84,000 in 2014 when the last census was done. But it can only sustainably manage half that number in its national parks. Southern African countries say they don't have the resources to better manage growing elephant populations. That's why they want to sell their ivory stockpiles to fund conservation projects, such as culling or moving animals to less populated areas. The Kaza uh, area or the Greater Limpopo conservation areas, where I see uh, a lot of opportunities of, uh, uh, of cross-boundary cooperation so that you know to facilitate also wildlife movements which hopefully would then reduce pressure uh, uh, locally but of course you know all of this uh, requires you know a lot of thinking it requires resources and that's something that you know the European Union is also very much keen and interested we want to be uh, you know um, a partner in, in those efforts National parks officials say too many elephants destroy the environment and attack farmers when the animals stray from parks to find food. Those opposed to lifting the ban on ivory trade fear it will encourage corruption and poaching, which could end up fueling an illicit trade already worth billions. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Zimbabwe.